Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just a quick overview here uh, for those of you who are interested in working on tablets, uh, such as an iPad mini. Today we're going to be trying out the uh, new Adonit Pixel. This is a uh, pressure sensitive uh, pen. Uh, used it on an iPad mini. It wasn't even an iPad Pro and uh, using a program called Concepts. And man, it was actually really impressive. I was uh, very happy with what I had found. This was sent to me by Adonit for full disclosure. So, you know, this was, they didn't pay me or anything, but uh, they, I did get a free pen. So let's dig into it. Let's do a little bit of drawing and I can kind of give you some of my impressions on how this pen works. First and foremost, this is an iPad mini four. I tried this on an older model, didn't work out so good. The older model of iPads can't even run the latest versions of uh, Sketchbook or Concepts, so be aware of that. I will be evaluating uh, the pen using Sketchbook, uh, my old friend Sketchbook, later in the video as well. Secondly, I want to mention that pairing this thing was super easy. You really just you click on the little gear button, you go down to... Uh, the stylus, um, the Adonit series stylus, and then you hold it, that down and it just lights up the little green button. You can set the two uh, quick buttons uh, on the pen to either undo or redo or pull up menus or pull up colors. I did kind of wish that there was a color dabber option uh, for one of the quick buttons, but that's a concepts issue, not a, uh, a Donna issue. Now that's something that I, I didn't really experiment too much with any other programs other than, uh, this particular one. So you're going to see me kind of fumble around a little bit with trying to figure out where the heck buttons are. I've never used concepts before. I've never used an Adonit pen before. You can also see the size of this thing. I mean, it's an iPad mini. It's just, it happens to be the only one that I had access to. This is my wife's iPad mini that I had to borrow. Uh, the software concepts, uh, was surprisingly very efficient. However, there were several instances where it was asking me, Hey, do you want to use that feature? You can transform but you gotta buy it. And uh, I was like, well, you know, I'm just trying this thing out, man. I don't, I don't. So that happens a few times throughout the process of, of this video, you'll see, but I still got a lot of mileage out of just the free version of Concepts. Uh, one thing that I was very impressed with was the level of pressure sensitivity on the Adonit Pixel. And you can see more, most evident using the, uh, this is the watercolor tool in Concepts. And uh, you can see where if you're ver just barely, barely pressing, you get a, um, you get a very light kind of uh, 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 opacity. But the harder you press, of course, you know, you're going to get a, a pretty uh, stronger opacity. And uh, so, you know, it was really kind of like very surprised because I, I, I would say that that is on par with what I had experienced using the Apple Pencil. Um, but the advantage being, of course, the Adonit Pixel has, you know, a couple of quick keys on it. It also has a slightly more pressure sensitivity from what I had found. Uh, the, the Apple Pencil, I don't really want to compare. I don't, I don't know that that's appropriate. Um, but what I found was this actually has a little bit of flexibility to it. So when you're pressing, it kind of sinks in a little bit and you feel that, that pressure sensitivity. I didn't want to keep that kind of wobbly camera situation going. So I, I disconnected it from the table that I was working on and I just started drawing in my lap. And this might be useful for you to know as well. It's actually a very comfortable drawing in your lap. As you can see, I mean, this thing is like palm size for me. The iPad mini is not a huge device. I think this would be a lot more enjoyable probably on a regular size iPad. It took me a little bit of time, uh, to be quite honest, to get used to uh, what kind of brushes I was using. I wanted to find a brush that really showcased that pressure sensitivity. And so I kept kind of going in and fumbling around a little bit with some of the options and uh, some of the, um, the customization. And I still, I really don't know how to manage some of the layers. <laughs> Concepts is an, is an interesting program. It's a beautiful program as well. Uh, I was really in love with the watercolor uh, brush. That's a super nice brush. And I would love to incorporate that into more of my pieces. Uh, this is definitely something that I would use maybe if I were going to like a little sketch group. Uh, this is a device that I would use if I were sitting in meetings, um, 
or if I got to listen to some suits talk about sales figures or uh, marketing strategies or crap like that. And I just want to like sit there and do something creative and, and create something. I've been playing a little bit of Metal Gear Survive. So, you know, I've got a little bit of uh, big boss influence going on here. Uh, if you're <laughs> uh, if you're familiar with those games, you'll probably recognize some of the Yoji Shinkawa inspired kind of a big boss type of uh, a character design going on here, but with a massive chin. Uh, I really liked how Concepts kind of pulls out colors uh, in a color ring, but you can kind of set up almost like Copic marker. Uh, in fact, I think they have a partnership with Copic to uh, offer all of the Copic colors. Uh, you can kind of set up some swatches and things like that. I thought that was nifty. Although uh, I tend to, when I'm evaluating a software, I tend to kind of draw this same dude's face or something similar uh, because I'm just trying to get comfortable with um, how much can I draw with this thing? You know, uh, my comfort zone is in pencil drawing. I did like how uh, one thing to note is like with this particular software, you can uh, use the touch screen, of course, so you can see me pinching and squeezing, uh, much like you're uh, viewing or or changing the angle or dimensions of any drawing. This is super portable, by the way. Uh, one issue that I do want to point out is uh, I got up at one point to uh, to reset the video, to stop the video, and uh, to run off to the kitchen to grab a, a cold beverage. And uh, when I came back, it had unpaired. I had to reconnect it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You've got to pair it every time you kind of sit down with it again. The pen is battery operated, so it's something that you have to, it has a magnetic end, and I'll show you at the end of this video. It has a magnetic end that hooks to a USB port that you then plug into the side of, uh, well, your laptop, or if you have a tower, it's a USB port kind of a plug. So it's easy peasy to, to charge, but you might, I mean, you might want to keep that in mind. It is a little bit of extra work to make sure that you charge it. I don't know what the battery life is on that. I've only used it for about 20 minutes so far, but uh, yeah something to note. There's battery maintenance. That's not a big deal to some people, but it is a deal, you know. And you're not really going to find a battery-free pressure-sensitive pen for the iPad. Other questions you may have, uh, will this work on Galaxy Tab? I don't, I, man, any other device, I can't tell you. I've, I've only tried it with the uh, iOS uh, line from Apple. And uh, honestly, I mean, what, you, what you're seeing here is what you would get with that. I only imagine it would be better with a, a larger size tablet. But I, I have not tried it out on any other uh, other hardware at all. Because I know, I know you were about to ask that. You were about to ask. You were just about to type that. You probably already typed it. We'll find out in the comments. And of course, I had to. I had to uh, take my old, uh, old friend sketchbook for a, a run using the Adonit Pixel. And it worked really well. I would say that the pressure sensitivity is different for some reason. And I wish that uh, Sketchbook possibly would ap apply a little bit more customization features, such as being able to adjust your pressure sensitivity. If that feature exists, I looked around for about five minutes. I couldn't find any way to really adjust that pressure sensitivity in the pen settings, uh, possibly in each individual brush you can adjust it, but a little bit of uh, inconvenience there. I, I did uh, enjoy kind of going back to some of my more comfortable, uh, oily kind of brushes that I like to use on the desktop version of Sketchbook Pro. Uh, the Sketchbook iPad version is a little bit more limited. Uh, you don't have access to a lot of the same brushes. You don't have access to a lot of the same uh, features. And so that may just be a limitation of, you know, not really being the full version, the pro version of Sketchbook. But I can say it still works. The pencil tools work exceptionally well. Really great uh, pencil and paper kind of a feel. Uh, using Sketchbook with the Adonit Pixel on an iPad mini. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention is that initially Adonit had contacted me and they had sent me an Adonit Pro 3. And uh, this one, I, I, I believe it's, uh, it's also called the Dot. And it does not have pressure sensitivity. It's the one that has a little plate at the end of it. And uh, I, I wrote, I wrote, uh, I wrote them back and I said, basically, hey, listen, I, you know, I work with a lot of professional grade equipment. I'm working with a lot of high end um, 
you know, drawing devices and tablets here. I can't really, obvi obviously, I can't really evaluate a pen that isn't designed for drawing on a tablet. And uh, I need a certain level of pressure sensitivity in order to do that. So they sent me, that's when they sent me the Adonit Pixel. And I got to say, I mean, my final evaluation is yes, I'm absolutely impressed with this device above probably any other drawing pen that I've used for tablets. Uh, will I switch? to doing this only? Probably not. Um, this is something that uh, is, is useful for sort of a, a portable sketch station if I want to make sure that I've got something that I can sketch with digitally while I'm on an airplane or when I'm uh, traveling to my parents' house, you know, in another state or something like that. Uh, would it replace my workstation? I don't know. I mean, that's a really tough evaluation. Uh, certainly, you know, it has the potential to, but a lot of that would boil down to the software, possibly using something like Sketchbook Pro, which is, uh, as I've proven in previous videos, a very professional grade drawing tool. In conclusion, the Adonit Pixel is a fine tablet drawing pen. In fact, it's pretty much the best one that I've used for drawing on an iPad. Uh, as far as anything else goes, I can't really compare it. It's not a direct comparison to a desktop uh, tablet setup. Great uh, little sketchbook uh, tablet drawing pen device, which I would recommend if you are a uh, if you are using the Apple Pencil. I'd say this will probably get you a better a better range, honestly, uh, at probably I think a cheaper price. I think this is only fifty bucks. So I want to thank Adonit, of course, for uh, providing me with a. Uh, sample pen. Uh, if you are interested in my artwork and some of the tutorials that I do, I have a whole bunch of them on, uh, on my Gumroad channel. I've been making uh, concept art for many years for video games, years before that doing comic books. I like to collect all that knowledge and experience into these box sets of tutorials, document it all, along with a lot of my, my new stuff that I'm doing, new techniques and uh, tutorials, as well as my uh, brushes that I use. So feel free to pick that up and uh, just uh, tap my brain for all of my knowledge kind of done with it. I don't need it anymore. And uh, for everybody else, dudes, uh, until next time, I'll catch you on my yandama. All right. Ciao, baby.